All right, so I'm going to show you guys a really cool commandlet in PowerShell. It's called the grid view. Uh, now, some people are like surgeons with a scalpel at the command line. They can get in and cut up the information, find what they need, display it properly, and and uh, they're better off from the experience. And some people are more like surgeons with a butter knife, and it's not quite as easy to get the pieces you want and get it to display properly. So. There's this commandlet called out grid view that allows you to display data in a Windows form where you can manipulate it with a mouse. And I'll show you how we do that. So I'm taking get process and I'm just pipelining it to the commandlet out grid view. And let's see what happens when I run that. And you'll see a Windows form pops up. And let me just pull this into view here. And like any other Windows form, it has all these fields that I can manipulate and work with so if things are cut off I can make it bigger uh, I can click on the fields and organize them so I got it by ID here and uh, organize it by CPU so it's a really easy way to go in and look at the information that would normally be displayed to the console that you wouldn't be able to work with interactively uh, and we can actually take it a step further. You'll see up here we have a little box that says filter on it and we can go ahead and type stuff in there and it will uh, be dynamically uh, filtered. So I'm going to type Chrome in here and you'll see it's going to pull up all my Chrome tabs that were running when we ran that command. Um, and we can type in other stuff like win. Okay, so I have some stuff with win. Um, well, let's say that we wanted to find uh, another specific value. Well, let's try 72. Okay, so it looks like 72 is in a bunch of different fields here. Let's say we only wanted to see if 72 was in the CPU field. Well, you can click this button here called Add Criteria, and then we can pick one of the columns, and we're going to pick the CPU column, and we're going to say Add That, and then we can filter from within inside just the CPU column so you'll see that it is only filtered out items that have 72 inside of the CPU and we can go back here and see how that works so that's pretty cool um, so what else can we do it with well I have a folder on my desktop that I use pretty often and it's called lots of crap. It's got lots of crap in it. So let's run, uh, run that to out grid view, and you'll see here that we get a similar looking grid that we can manipulate, and it's got a little bit of information for us. It's got the last write times. Uh, it's got the names. It tells us here that these are directories. Um, it's got some file attributes, so we can see that this file is read only um, and so just like pulling the information from get process we can give it a folder and we can look through the information there and similarly we can um, filter through it so we can find the exe files we can find the txt files so that's pretty pretty cool um, and you can even you know like most forms just select information that you want uh, you can copy it to the clipboard. Let's see that. So we can copy information from it, paste it somewhere. Um, I'm not going to save that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So here's here's another thing that I'll show you guys that I I was just trying out. Um, let's say you, that you have tons of uh, virtual machines installed on your computer, and and you you want to check what the IP addresses are. Um, if you have tons of stuff, sometimes, um, whoops, sometimes um, it can look a little bit messy, and there's a lot of information to sort through. I tried pipelining it to out grid view, and it doesn't pull up a grid because it's not a PowerShell object, but you can still sort through the information. So I can type IP and quickly grab all the uh, all the rows that have the word IP in them and that gives me a quick view of what all the IP addresses are so that's another 
little thing you can do. So that's the out grid view commandlet. If you try just sending information to it and seeing what pops up, then you can filter through it and um, work with it a little, a little bit easier. Uh, so, so the uh, the butter knife guys can can get the the edge on the scalpel guys. And that's it. Thanks for watching.